Hi there, this is a quick introduction again on how you can access the activities within Donut. We'll be using this platform to do a whole bunch of stuff in our class. So the first thing you want to do is go to donut.org. Please make sure you check the spelling correctly. It's D-O-E-N-E-T dot org. Once you do, this page should open up. On the top right corner, click on sign in. And here you need to use your entire Palm Beach State email. No personal emails can be used. Make sure that you're typing in the entire thing. Uh, so whatever your name is, at my.palmbeachstate.edu. Students often forget the my and then they wonder why they're not getting the nine digit code. Now, just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to use a personal email here just to show you what it looks like from the student side. So again, do not use a personal email. You must use your Palm Beach State email so that whatever you do for class actually gets counted for a grade. So click send email. Now this message says, check your email for a code to complete sign in. Now you open your Palm Beach State email and here there's going to be this nine digit code. You copy it and all you have to do is paste it back here. Click sign in and that's it. Now you'll notice in the top right corner, this shows a, a, a circle. It might be a different color for different people, but it will have your initials here. That means you're in the right spot and you're signed in. Now click on my courses in the top white strip here. When you do that, you should only see this purple looking thing underneath it should say fall 2023 intermediate algebra, Monday, Wednesday, Friday student. So if you click on this purple box, you should come up to this welcome page and there's two rectangular boxes here. Your grade book will show grades as and when you do more and more activities in our course. If you click on content, that's where the activities will live. So you click on content, this shows up. You can do one of two things. You can either click this arrow and it will show what's inside the box or you can just double click on it and then it will bring you to the activity itself. So all the activities will be listed right here. You can double click on this activity to actually do it. So here, let's say we select that as the answer choice. If you just select it, but don't click on check work, it will not save your, answer, uh, your answers. So you must click check. And because this problem only had one attempt, this is marked wrong. You're not able to change your answers. By contrast, these fill in the blank problems, they have unlimited attempts, at least for the in-class activities. So let's say we're trying to add one half and three fifths, and I know that the answer is not but one, but let's say we try one and we check work. That's obviously incorrect. Let's try the correct one, 11 tenths. If we check work, now all of a sudden it's correct. Hopefully that reminds you on how to get access to these activities in class.